Hey guys, are you here? And today, Holy Priest have been nerfed once again. August 2nd hotfixes just came in. Greater Fate can no longer be cast while silence and Greater Fate cooldown increased to 45 seconds from 30. More considerable nerfs to Holy Priest. Holy Priest guys have been nerfed like 10 times in the last two weeks because they were insanely overpowered. And now they got nerfed and nerfed again and nerfed again and nerfed again and nerfed again. Here's another round of nerfs to the Holy Priest. I don't know. Are they still good? I was playing my Holy Priest yesterday trying to decide if Holy Priests are still good. And if they're still good, it's almost a testament to just being like, wow, Holy Priest sur <laughs> survived a lot of nerves while still being good. That means they were busted beforehand. But hopping into this game here, we're playing Destro Ellie Holy, I think. Um, no Skype or voice or anything like that. We were just playing for fun yesterday. Kind of wanted to play my priest. Oz asked me to play, and I wanted to try to test these hot figures out for myself. We're playing against an RMP. I think around 2k2200 MMR range. Maybe a little higher, a little lower. I want to talk a lot about my positioning in this video, and I want to talk about Holy Priest viable in general. Um, viability in general. Start of the game, I get cheap shotted. My Holy Ward gets cheap shotted off. I get cheap shotted again on the Holy Ward. Uh, into that cheap shot, into the full polymorph, unless it can get stopped. Polymorph doesn't get stopped. I get full sheeped, and the mage popped Icy Banes. This is like a pretty big opener for them. Um, my Shaman should be definitely popping defensive cooldowns. My Shaman pops as well. They swap to my Warlock, and my Warlock pops as well also. I think that's a-okay, because I do get CC'd. And on top of that CC, the Mage popped Icy Veins. This is like their big go. Right away, I want to note, I put the Mage to my focus, and I focus purge the Mage's Icy Veins uh, pretty soon on in this game. And at the same time, I'm making distance from the team fight. I'm playing away. I'm not just staying right in. If I'm staying right in, they can easily follow up with more CC, and I don't want that. Running away, stun the Mage up, and Master Spell the Ice Block. Um, I want you to also know that I'm playing a little bit away from the Rogue, so I can tell if he wants to blind me. If he wants to blind me, I might have a Holy Ward or a Fade available to uh, immune it. It's kind of like deathing a blind, except the Holy Priest version. If you immune it with some type of, you know, Holy Ward or Fade, then, you know, good job. Um, they're kind of playing at the pillar. I want to be in a position where I can avoid CC if it happens, or kind of see the CC if it happens. I don't want to be too far, so that someone just dies in a bomb, um, you know, so it's just like a middle ground. Kind of pushing in here. Um, all my teammates are full HP, so I can go for some type of mind control. Uh, line the polymorph. I actually want to talk about this just for a second. All you healers out there will probably really like this video. All you non-healers might be like, sorry you, come on, log on to your mage. Um, <laughs> I do have some mage gameplay too, so we'll maybe do some mage stuff tomorrow. But anyway, the healers will enjoy this. Polymorph is being casted. Um, it, he's targeting Oz, and I, so I think and I don't think Oz is in line of sight, right? So I think this poly might be on the me. So I, I go back out of line of sight, but I, I see the polymorph still goes off. So immediately I know it's not on Oz because he's out of line of sight. I know it's not on myself because I'm still out of line of sight. I know it's on my shaman. So before anything even happens, I start running back into line of sight, target the shaman and dispel. So something like that is so small, but it's an instant dispel onto a, onto a sheep that just helps the fluidity of the game. Um, instead of you know waiting three or four seconds for dispel i also want to talk out this uh point real quick i have holy ward on for one more second and i have holy ward coming back in you know two seconds the, the rogue is very close he has blind off a of cooldown i know because my omni bar would show the cooldown of blind if he had it and uh you know the mage just didn't you know didn't get a sheep the priest is behind the pillar um so the only cc that can really hit me right now is either a stun from rogue or a blind from the rogue, and I kind of call this out in real time as I'm playing, um, but I know that I want to keep blind of sight of this rogue because the blind is coming soon, and I don't have fade or holy ward for about two more seconds, so I'm kind of just playing out of line of sight on purpose, like I'm not just running into a wall, it might, you guys might be like, sorry, why are you running into a wall right now? I'm not just running into a wall, I'm line of sighting this rogue as best as I can for this holy ward to come back up. As soon as the holy ward comes back up, check it out. Holy Ward comes back up, I press the Holy Ward, and boom, Holy Ward the Blind, similar to deathing a Blind as uh, Shadow Priest, um, get the get the Blind out of the way right there, and I don't even have to use my Trinket, so, you know, thumbs up there, uh, definitely like that. Precasting the MC onto the Mage during the Polymorph, this is something else I want to talk about. So, uh, Mage is running in, um, I know he's going to cast Polymorph because the Rogue dismisses Blind and they need some type of CC, 
I can use Fade, but Fade is on a 45 second cooldown now and I have no Holy Ward available and I don't really want to waste a Trinket. So to immune this uh, sheep, what I'm going to do is start just casting an MC when the mage isn't even casting because I know he wants to poly and actually just uh, MC the polymorph right away, running him back into his own orb away from me to keep myself nice and safe. So the, the premonition to MC before a cast happens to kind of MC during the cast is really good. Now I have the Fade available for this next sheep, Fade that sheep. And now I'm running to line of sight. I can't play out in the open anymore. I have no Holy Ward. I have no Fade. This is back to the pillar, um, you know, defending myself against these Polymorphs. I have a stun available, so if the Mage wants to try to shoot me, I can stun him. If he wants to try to shoot me again, I have Holy Ward in about two seconds. So I, it's all about avoiding the CC against RMP. Um, I, the Mage goes in an Ice Block. I cast the MD. The MD goes out. Uh, Warlock gets stunned. Rogue Step Cheap Shots me. I do Holy Ward it, and he re Cheap Shots me. So he eats the Holy Ward, and he gets that re CC off. And the Polymorph is almost there, so it looks like it's going to go off. It actually does get knocked back. Great knockback by the Shaman, uh, defending me from, you know, getting in CC. If he defends me from getting in CC, I can heal him. So, you know, it's a positive trade. I want to stay back far. He has no bomb available. Uh, it was used earlier on the match on my Warlock. As they're pushing in, if I were to stay back now, they'd be lying aside of me and they'd be vulnerable to death behind LOS. So now I'm forced to push in. Um, this is all without voice. So I'm kind of like, okay, I, you know, I have to push in now. I push into the pillar. The rogue and the priest are still kind of over the, over the pillar, right? So I can safely play here. Um, if they push back into us, then I pull back to the pillar that I was previously at, right? Um, so Shaman gets stunned, put a renew on him, kind of line of sighting this rogue a little bit. I ward the stun once again. Um, he has to re-stun me because I warded the stun, which makes his whole go just a little bit slower, a little bit weaker. Now look, they're coming back out, and just as they start coming back out, I start coming back out as well. I don't say push it on this pillar. Um, I want to keep my distance. Uh, they switch into my Shaman. My Shaman's slightly out of LOS, so I come around to the other side of the pillar and play on this edge of the pillar. And as you can see, guys, always in and out of the pillar, always far away if you can. If the rogue has bomb, you could try to pre-grip it. If the rogue, you know, doesn't or does have a bomb, you don't have a grip. You could stay a little bit closer if it's still near LOS. Um, but here in this game, the rogue doesn't have blind for another 40 seconds. Uh, you know, mages, mage and rogue are coiled. Uh, pressure is definitely there, and we still have pretty much every cooldown. Uh, still, you know, ray of hope. I don't know if I've used it all this entire match. Uh, Guardian uh, haven't used it all this entire match. Trinket haven't used it this entire match. So we're doing a okay. Um, our holy priest still okay. I think so against certain matchups. Against certain matchups like feral. Uh, you know, like Jungle Cleave, Feral Hunter, I think it's, they're, they're awful. Against Boomies or Shadow Priest, I think they're great. Against something like this, I think they're okay. Maybe not great, but you have to play well type of a thing. So it just depends on the matchup now. Before, they were just generally amazing versus everything, and now it really depends on the matchup. Um, so playing back near LOS now, switching myself to this pillar, because this pillar gives me a better positional advantage to heal my team instead of the other pillar that was kind of, um, if you remember, like, 10 seconds ago, it was kind of hard because they were poking in and out of line of sight. On this pillar, I'm going to have an easy time at line of sighting. Rogue vanishes, and I don't... Yeah, he vanishes and just opens up with a kidney shot. Okay, so that's fine. The, the poly is trying to follow the kidney. My team does a great job of stopping that polymorph. So the full polymorph is about to come out to me. I couldn't stop it, but my team did. I'm trying to line of sight here, keeping up uh, heals up on my partners. Instantly dispel that sheep, fade any incoming CC, and... Um, Everything looks pretty controlled right now, and I'm still in that Polymorph DR. I used that Ray of Hope there to keep my team up. Throw some heals into the Ray of Hope, of course. We'll, we'll definitely top the guy uh, if he's not getting completely uh, railed. Uh, fear goes out on the Priest. He trinkets, re-fear, re-fear again. Type of a thing going on. Once again, playing very far away from the situation. If I'm playing closer, guys, I'm much, vulner much more vulnerable to Rogue Stuns. I'm much more vulnerable to Step Kicks. Uh, fears, uh, just stun in the fear, stuff like that. Playing max range as a holy priest is very, you know, good for your team because you don't have fear available. If you had fear as a disc priest, you could push in and get that triple fear, double fear. That definitely helps or fear the DPS. As a holy priest, you don't have fear. You have mind control. Everything can be done from a range. Rogue vanishes here and he has blind available. And since I... Um, since I, you know, death or holy ward of that last blind, I'm thinking he wants to blind me again. So I do holy ward, and it comes off immediately, which leads me to believe I do holy ward the blind again. It doesn't show up on my omnibar because he's in stealth, it, it can't track abilities from stealth, but I'm pretty certain that I did holy ward the blind once again. So two for two this game, not bad, not bad at all. Um, and I also believe I holy ward the blind because I don't get blind for like the rest of this game. 
or like another minute or two, you know, two minutes or something. So it would have come back off cooldown. He would have used it if I didn't ward it. So I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, my, my Warlock gets really low here. I am forced to Guardian. He also walls, throwing a lot of heals into him, playing max range, trying to juke kick, juke the mage kick there as well. Um, so here in your Omni Bar, guys, so someone, a healer in this position might just free cast. The mage is right here in the middle. He can easily blink CSU. Um, you have a lot of cooldowns up. He has a kick available. Why wouldn't he kick you? So this is definitely a good cast to fake. I fake around halfway. Boom. Mage falls for it. Uh, juke the step kick right after that as well. So juke the mage kick. Juke the step kick. And then I'm free at rain to pretty much top off my warlock after the stun. Um, right about here. So I use the ray of hope as well just to make sure uh, all my heals go off into it. And man, the, he's actually just getting creamed. So so look at this. The Since all of the nerfs, my healing is, you know, a lot worse. It is harder to top someone, even if you do amazing plays like Holy Ward Blind, uh, Juke Kick, Juke Step Kick, you know, back to back to back. It's still difficult to top your partners, even if you're playing on the top of your game. Um, run in, stun the priest just to keep up the pressure. At this point, the mage is low, the rogue is low. Um, you know, they have no blind available. They have no blocks available. They have no anything available. Um, rogue comes in. I just press hold, uh, just press fade to immune everything, and the rogue goes down. Uh, or the mage goes down, rogue goes down shortly after, and the priest is uh, pretty much doomed here as well. So, awesome game there. When I played this, I was like, I was commenting on it on my live stream, and I was like, I think this is a good game to kind of not only exemplify Holy Priest nerfs, but then talk a little bit about, um, you know, if they're still good or not, but then talk about like a lot about positioning and what is in the mind of a healer, right? You know, where you should be standing, what cooldowns you should be using, when you should be faking, um, you know, how to predict things like dispelling on, you know, so the dispels come instantly, how to predict things like holy warding a blind or fading a sheep, something like that. So I hope all of this helped, guys, all you healers out there. Hope it helped you guys. Make sure to thumbs the video up if you liked it, guys. Um, definitely helps me out. Make sure to thumbs the video down if you didn't like it, so I know that you didn't like it, so I won't do a video like this again. And uh, talk to me in the comments below about what you guys want to see for next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!